works, baby, it's like a light storm To be yours Thunder crash until the sky's torn You're like a light storm, a light storm So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Aoife and Emma, I would like to welcome each of you here today for the occasion of their wedding. Each of you here have shared, supported, and contributed to their lives in the past. And by witnessing their marriage ceremony here today, they are asking that you share in their future also. On behalf of the couple, I would like to extend their gratitude to you all for your attendance here today. Today is, of course, a celebration of love, commitment, friendship, family, and two people who are in it forever. As we create this marriage, we also create a new bond and a new sense of family, one that will undoubtedly include all who are present here today. Through your presence, you get to share and witness the public declaration of the commitment they will make to each other. Therefore, you are participating and not just spectators of their ceremony. Aoife and Emma wanted an inclusive wedding that represented both of their families, and they've worked hard in order to achieve such a ceremony, whilst it's still being personal and reflective of themselves as individuals, as a couple, and today as a family. Above all, they always insisted that they wanted each of you to be a part of this very special occasion. So what is marriage? A joyful marriage is, of course, never being too old to hold hands, which we're off to a good start. It is remembering to say, I love you. It is never going to sleep angry, and it is at no time taking the other for granted. Let your courtship not end with the honeymoon, but continue throughout all the years. Your marriage will be a great journey of surprises, joys, and miracles. And above all, remember that your love for each other will prevail. To make a marriage work, however, takes more than love. It will take trust to know in your hearts you only want the best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another, to learn and grow even when it is difficult to do so. It will take courage to honor your differences, to make the important things matter, and of course, let go of the rest. And finally, it will take faith to go forward together without knowing what the future holds for both of you. Can I ask Louise please to come up for our first reading? Some souls instantly click. Whether you are lovers, best friends, soulmates, or something so special that words can't quite explain it. You accept this person for everything they are, and they would never let you be anything other than your beautiful, imperfect self. These are the souls that you encounter, and just know that in the very first moment that you were supposed to cross paths. Their presence makes you feel safe and calm, like you're at home whenever you're with them. They are without a doubt the most special person you have had the privilege to love. No distance, time or person could come between the bond that you share. Their kindness, softness, sincerity and unconditional love makes you feel like a better person because life, because life is simply better with them in it. Whatever form they come in, their souls are your happy place, your comfort, your sunshine, your everything. And you genuinely could not imagine life without the mix. Can Anna come up please for our second reading? Let love be your shelter. The world is noisy and confusing at times. So make a home that is a haven, a peaceful place where you can listen to your hearts and savor the comfortable closeness you share. No matter how busy your days may be, make time for yourselves. Hold hands, unwind, surprise each other. Buy little chances every day to show you're grateful to be partners, to be friends, to be married. Life is not perfect, you will make mistakes, but each time you meet life's challenges together, you will grow wiser, stronger, and surer of your oath. Cherish your yesterdays, 
They are irreplaceable souvenirs of your journey through life. Make memories that will bring you smiles and sighs when you look back. Look back often. Look forward to. Dream together. Plan together. Make promises to keep. Believe in your tomorrows, because tomorrows are what forever is made of. To make love last, put each other first. This is the way to make a beautiful life together, the kind you both so much deserve. Can I invite Aoife and Emma's mothers, Colleen and Teresa, please to come forward? So, Aoife and Emma. In the lighting of a unity candle, you are symbolizing your lives as individuals and today as a family. The outer candles represent your lives up to this moment, each bright and shining on their own. The candles that are about to be lit are the candles of marriage. Its fire is magical because it represents the light of two people in love. Your mothers gave you light by bringing you into this world, so it is only fitting that they continue to give you light today on your journey as a married couple. Aoife, as your mum Colleen lights your candle, let it be a symbol of the light shining inside of you, remembering how special you are. It's not symbolic, it's okay. We're okay. Perfect. And Emma, as your mother Teresa lights your candle, let it be a symbol of the light shining inside of you. Perfect. Great. Thank you. You can relax now. <laughs> so, Emma and Aoife, you've known each other from that first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point along the way, you both decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you've been making commitments in an informal way. All those conversations that were held in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all those conversations that began with when we're married and continued with I will, you will, and we will. All those late night talks that included someday, somehow, and maybe, all these things are the real process of making a wedding. The symbolic vows that are about to be made now are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we've promised, hoped, and dreamed? Well, I meant it, every word. So Emma, Eva, look at one another. Hold each other's hands for support and remember to breathe. <laughs> Before this moment, you've been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, maybe dancing partner or even teacher. For you have learned so much from one another over the last few years. Shortly, you shall say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life and things between you will never quite be the same. For of course, after today, you shall say to the world, this is my wife. Do you, Aoife, hereby state that you have read and understood the list of civil impediments to marriage? And do you solemnly declare that you believe that there is no impediment of kindred or affinity or other lawful hindrance to your proposed marriage with Emma? I do. <laughs> I thought we had this rehearsed. Connected. I'm, that's not me, by the way. I've been disconnected. <laughs> and do you, Emma, hereby state that you too have read and understood the list of civil impediments to marriage? And do you solemnly declare that you too believe there is no impediment of kindred or affinity or other lawful hindrance to your proposed marriage with Aoife? I do. It is now I, Andrew Kennedy, do solemnize this, your marriage, according to the laws of this country. Before you all, Aoife and Emma are joined in my presence and in the presence of these witnesses. I am bound, as you know, to remind you publicly of the solemn, the serious, and the binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage, as most of us understand, is a voluntary and full commitment of two people to one another. It is made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others, and it is entered into with the desire, the hope, and the firm intention that it will last a lifetime. Aoife, do you take Emma in marriage to be your wedded wife? to share your life as your friend, your lover, your companion, to grow together in spirit and in truth, forsaking all others. I do. Much better. <laughs> and do you, Emma, take Aoife in marriage to be your wedded wife, 
to share your life as your friend, your lover, and your companion, to grow together in spirit and in truth, forsaking all others. And family and friends, now that you have heard from Emma and Aoife recite their own vows, do you now, their friends and family, promise from this day forward to encourage them, to love them, to give them your guidance and support in promises that they have made here today? If yes, please say, we will. Yeah. Not even rehearsed. <laughs> Darren, do you have the ring ready, please? Emma, wear this ring as a sign of my love. I promise to love and respect you all the days of my life. Aoife, wear this ring as a sign of my love. I promise to love and respect you all the days of my life. Now, can I ask Karen, Rebecca, Deborah, and Stuart, please, to come forward? So, ladies and gentlemen, today, Emma and Aoife would like to participate in a hand fastening ceremony. This is an old Irish Brehan law, and it is where the term tying the knot comes from. These are the hands of your best friend, full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will hold yours when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family as one. These are the hands that will wipe away tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you that same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. By law, you have to stay like this for 24 hours. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. Aoife and Emma, the two outer candles that have already been lit symbolize your separate lives. In the lighting of the center candle, it represents that your two lives are now being joined together as one. It is vitally important to remember that there are always two people in a marriage each with their own yearnings, dreams, and wishes. So I'd like you to remember when it was first in your relationship that you realized you were both truly in love. And holding that thought, Aoife, if you can take a flame from Emma's candle. And Emma, if you can take a flame from Aoife's candle. And if you could both now light your marriage candle together. No shakes at all. <laughs> well done, perfect. Can Gillian and Darren please come forward to sign the register? Okay, perfect. Everyone doing okay? Yes. We're nearly there. Huh? Oh, yeah, totally. So, Darren, I've literally, you want to pop in here? So, I've literally just popped down to everyone's name alongside the line. So just make sure that everyone goes first. So Darren goes first, Gillian, Aoife, Emma, and myself then, right? So you're just on this line here. Brilliant. Great. Uh, Gillian, you're next. All good? There'll be a drink in your hand in about 10 minutes, so. Okay, Aoife. I think some of them might have already had a drink. Pardon? I think have been on the drink already. <laughs> Here for the word. <laughs> Emma and Aoife, as you embark on this journey together, with adversity and pain visit your door, may Emma's God and you may give you the strength you find good health and peace. And if you struggle to find your place in this world, may Nanny Cathy and give you the wisdom to not look up to each other, not look down on each other, but always look across at each other. Emma and Aoife, as you embark on this journey together, if you, if you feel lost and the path becomes unclear, may Nanny <coughs> Terry guide you both down the right road to happiness. And if storm blows up and choppy seas make the journey seem perilous and frightening, may Grandad Jared calm those gales, set those seas, and get you to the harbour. And Emma and Aoife, 
as you embark on this journey together, if darkness descends and sadness burrows into your soul, be grand and all, lift your soul, find your smile, and bring you back to the memories of this glorious day of love and happiness. Disconnect. <laughs> Connected. <laughs> As soon as Eva met, went on her first date with Emma, we knew she was smitten, and when we met Emma soon afterwards, it was clear to see why. It was obvious they were a perfect fit and simply meant to be. So while I was trying to think of what to say today, one quote kept jumping out to me, and I believe it sums up Emma and Aoife and their love, which is, I choose you in a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, in any version of reality. I'd find you and I'd choose you. You are my heart, my life, my one and only thought. Very emotional. <laughs> <laughs> to Eva and Emma on your wedding day. A few words of wisdom. Always remember why you fell in love. Always be in the moment. Keep your promises to each other. Share gratitude. Encourage each other all the time. Be kind and generous. Laugh together. Compliment each other. And be the first to say sorry. Trust and commitment. Listen, forgive, and always say, I love you. May you always be warmed by each other's smile. Always take time to walk and talk a while. Always know deep down you are each other's best friends and enjoy the kind of love that grows and knows no end. Firstly, I want to say on behalf of everybody, thank you for allowing us to share your special day today. I hope there's many more special days to come going forward for both of you. Um, I probably should have swapped notes with Mark beforehand, I didn't even talk about dead people so much, but I also wanted to mention people that have departed. Um, I'm sure no matter where they are, they're looking down, or up, at you both, and feel just, 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 just as proud as I am. Have a good day. Um, yeah, good job, man. So, Emma and Aoife. Your wedding day will be one that seems to fly by. It will be a day filled with emotion, friends, family, and hopefully a lot of dancing. Many people here will remember how fleeting their own wedding day was. So again, I want you to take a few moments to look at one another. Always remember to breathe, relax, and above all, think about the happiness that you're feeling in this place, in this moment. We all know that your visions of the future may not be identical, but should always be complementary. John Lennon once said, a dream you dream alone is only a dream, but a dream you dream together, that is a reality, and that reality starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, Aoife and Emma have declared before us that they will live together in marriage. They've made special promises to one another. They've symbolized it by joining hands, taking vows, and exchanging rings. So therefore, on your behalf, I now declare them to be married. Aoife, Emma, you may now kiss your wife. Aoife and Emma, may your home be a place of happiness for all who enter it, a place where the old and the young are renewed in each other's company, a place for growing, a place for sharing, but above all, a place for love. May those who are nearest to you be constantly enriched by the beauty and the bounty of your love for one another. May your work be a joy to your life that serves the world, and may your days be good and long upon the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you all please to be upstanding? as I have the greatest pleasure in presenting to you the newly married couple, Aoife and Emma. It's like a monster To be yours Feel it's through the fire